timestamp now, exactly 4.50, so sunrise time, and it should be rising somewhere in that direction. Uh, there's a lot of cloud on the horizon, so we might not actually see very much. We'll have to wait and see, a bit of a surprise. We're lucky because yesterday there was uh, lots of rain, there was a storm, and uh, we wouldn't have seen anything. So, um, today is the zodiac sign Cancer, 2023, and the fourth house. Now, this morning, we witnessed the sunrise for Cancer, 2023, and the summer solstice for the 21st of June, 2023. Last night, the sunset was at 21 21 hours at uh, 310 degrees northwest we've just seen the sunrise uh, the the sunset rather the sunset this morning as i say will be at 450 hours northeast yes that's 50 degrees northeast So looking, looking at this from the flat Earth's uh, theory makes sense because the sun is a solar disk about 35 kilometers in diameter, according to the theory. Um, that could be about 4,000 kilometers above an earthly flat plane within a very large pond. So the sun we see appears this morning from the atmospheric deck of opacity which we observe with the perspective of our eyes and mind. It will um, it will uh, the day will be 16 30 hours and during this time it will continue its journey along the tropic of cancer circle and then disappear into the atmospheric deck of opacity to continue the daily circle around the tropic of cancer unseen from our position it will then reappear tomorrow morning in almost the same place at 50 degrees northeast but it will make a smaller circle around the Tropic of Cancer, as seen on the Gleason map. And so the day length will be two seconds shorter tomorrow, as it makes about 182 concentric circles back to the Tropic of Capricorn over the next six months for the start of winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. So that's the flat earth and we have no sign of the sun whatsoever this morning, but it should be here pretty soon. 